When we talk about research within the Coastal Highway Route E39 program, we talk about an innovation project where we develop new and environmentally friendly solutions. The Norwegian Public Roads Administration have initiated a program with approximately 50 PhDs ongoing. We have a special collaboration with the University of Stavanger, NTNU and Chalmers. A key ingredient to uh, get the ferry-free connection between Kristiansand and Trondheim is to find solutions for the major fjord crossings. My field of expertise is to perform numerical simulations of the flow physics in order to predict how the bridge behaves in different wind conditions. We make active use of the wind tunnel uh, so that we can compare our simulations with the experiments. My research is important because uh, wind is a complex phenomenon uh, which can have devastating effects on bridges and we do have strong winds on the western coast of Norway. But at NTNU we are also investigating the possibility of using a submerged floating tunnel in concrete. This solution is less affected by the weather and has lower estimated maintenance costs, but it's more challenging and more expensive to build, unfortunately. So, I am investigating how concrete behaves if an explosion occurs inside such a structure. Uh, we do this by a multi-scale model, because naturally we cannot build an entire tunnel and blow it up, although that would be very fun. So, we do this by uh, testing here at the shock tube at NTNU, and we test small concrete pipes outdoors with live explosives. And from these tests we learn how the material behaves. And we are also looking into the environmental impact of the E39. Uh, so we are working with our research with energy consumption, fuel consumption, emissions, and we are trying to do our best into the research to improve this aspect of the research as well. And the whole idea being to look at the holistic uh, environmental impact of the infrastructure we then need a well-functioning speed modeling that can help us to capture the dynamic between all the geometrical elements in the road and to study their interactions, try to understand how they collaborate in order for us to come with a model that will help us to predict emissions and energy consumption. All the research from the collaborative universities will be used when designing the road and determining the road geometry. And it's exciting to be part of this project to see how our research supports the realization of one of the most challenging engineering tasks of our time. We believe in the research we've done in this project. We believe in the people who've worked on the project. The next step is for the research and solutions to get implemented.